Welcome to the mathematics class of Mr. Larry Whittington. Stay tuned as Mr. Whit get on here today and speak to us about fractions. I hope you figure to understand what he gonna teach. Get your ink pen and your pencil out, your calculator, and get ready to learn something from Mr. Whittington, Fort Bend Tutoring. This is Mr. Whittington with Fort Bend Tutoring, Mr. Witt, and uh, today's lesson is going to be about dividing rational expressions. That's right, dividing rational expressions. So let's check it out. Here we have problem number one. In problem number one, we have 15p cubed divided by 9p squared divided by 6p over 10p squared. So the first thing you want to recognize when you're dealing with dividing rational expressions is that they're fractions. Yeah, they're just fractions. And anytime you're dividing fractions, remember you must multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. You need a refresher over that? Please check out our dividing fractions video. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a link right down there. That's it. So we're going to be using the exact same process as before with a little twist because we'll have variables involved now. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the problem, okay? So I'm going to look at this as 15p cubed over 9p squared times 10p squared over 6p. So the first step is to rewrite the problem as a multiplication problem by multiplying by the reciprocal, a.k.a. flip, of the second fraction always the second fraction. From here, we're going to simplify before we multiply. And what I prefer to do is just to attack the numbers first. So I know that 9 and 15 can be reduced by 3. So 3 goes into 9 3 times, 3 goes into 15 5 times, and I also can reduce the 10 and the 6. The 10 and the 6 can be reduced by 2. So that means that 2 goes into 6 3 times, 2 goes into 10 5 times. All right. From there, I'll multiply straight across. That's going to be my next step here. All right. So 5 times 5 gives me 25. And multiplying my like basis of p, p to the third power times p squared gives me p to the fifth power. All over 3 times 3, which is 9. And this will be p to the third power because I had p squared times p to the first power. And you add the exponents on those like bases when multiplying. Mm -hmm. All right, now that I've done this, I can then leave my variable p in the numerator. That's right, because the variable will remain wherever the largest exponent is. So all you have to do is subtract the exponents from here. I know that p remains in the numerator because p is to the fifth power in the numerator, whereas in the denominator it's just to the third power. And your base, your variable, always remains wherever the largest exponent is. To get the exponent on your variable p, you just simply subtract. So 5 minus 3 leaves you with p squared, and that's it. That's the answer. I'm about to red box this thing. That's right. There it is. Red boxing it. That's the answer. Okay. Well, that means we'll be moving on to our next problem. Come along. All right. Here we are. Problem number two. We have 2k plus 8 over 6 divided by 3k plus 12 over 2. So what we're going to do first and foremost is change this into a multiplication problem. That's right. Anytime you're dividing two fractions, you want to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So I'll be rewriting this as 2k plus 8 over 6 times 2 over 3k plus 12. That's it. That's what's going on. That's what's happening. From here, I'm going to factor, and I'm going to factor completely. In the numerator, I can factor out a 2. So I can rewrite this as 2 times k plus 4 over 6 times 2 over, in the denominator of the second fraction, we can factor out a 3. So factoring out a 3, that leaves me with k plus 4 as well. All right, so in my next step here, I'm going to simplify before I multiply. That's my preference. So in the numerator, I see that I have 2, which can go into itself once, and 2 goes into 6 three times. And I also recognize that I have the factor of k plus 4 in the numerator here, and in the denominator in the second fraction. As long as you have a common factor in one of the numerators, as well as in one of the denominators, you can simplify to 1. So k plus 4 cancels out to 1, and k plus 4 cancels out to 1. In other words, k plus 4 goes into itself once, k plus 4 goes into itself once there. So now I can multiply straight across. So remember, I prefer to simplify before I multiply, all right? That's my strategy. So multiplying straight across, I end up with 2, and then in the denominator, 3 times 3 is always 9, so my answer is 2 ninths. That's it. That's problem number two. All right, that was, that was, that was almost fun. 
All right, let's keep it going. Here we go. Problem number three. With problem number three, I have 4a plus 12 over 2a minus 10 divided by a squared minus 9 over a squared minus a minus 20. I'm going to start off by rewriting this as a multiplication problem. So this is going to be 4a plus 12 over 2a minus 10 times a squared minus a minus 20 all over a squared minus 9. In the numerator of the first fraction, I can factor out a 4. So this would be 4 times a plus 3 all over in the denominator, factoring out a 2, that'll leave me with a minus 5. So remember when I'm factoring, I'm always factoring out the GCF first, the greatest common factor, and then when I multiply by the reciprocal here, I'll be factoring this quadratic trinomial. That's right. So if you need any practice, any refreshes over factoring trinomials, check out our videos on factoring quadratic trinomials, part one, part two, and part three. Okay? So here, I'm looking for two numbers that'll multiply to give me 20 and subtract to give me one. That'll be five and four. So I'll end up with a minus five times a plus four in the numerator. In the denominator, I have a difference of two squares. And yes, we do have a video for that too. I'll put the link right down here. We'll have a squared minus nine factors into a plus three times a minus three. All right, so now the problem is completely factored. Once I've done that, I look to simplify before I multiply here. So I know that two goes into itself, it'll go into four, twice. I know that this a plus 3 goes into itself once and it goes into itself once here as well. Notice that we have an a minus 5 in play. So a minus 5 goes into itself once here and it goes into itself once here as well. All right. So that leaves me with the following. Multiplying straight across, I'll have 2 times this a plus 4. So I'll write it as 2 times a plus 4. And in the denominator, 1 times a minus 3 is just a minus 3. Now you can leave it in this factored form, ladies and gentlemen, but you can also distribute it as well. So it's up to you. Me, I'm going to leave it just the way it is, but you could distribute that too if you wanted to and write the answer also as 2a plus 8 all over a minus 3. Okay, so that's also acceptable as well. Either way is good to go. All right, so there you go. Let me go ahead and see if I can color code this thing here. There we go. Boxing it up with black. What's up with that? Okay, so next problem, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check it out. Problem number four. In problem number four, we have n squared minus n minus 6 all over n squared minus 2n minus 8 divided by n squared minus 9 over n squared plus 7n plus 12. All right, well... We have quite a few things here, right? But the first thing is to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to rewrite this as n squared minus n minus 6 all over n squared minus 2n minus 8 times n squared plus 7n plus 12 all over n squared minus 9. Remember, when dividing rational expressions, aka fractions, you need to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. My next step is to factor and factor completely. All right, so here I have in the numerator n squared minus n minus 6. I'm looking for two numbers that'll multiply to give me 6 and subtract to give me 1. That'll be 3 and 2. So this factors into n minus 3 times n plus 2 all over in the denominator two numbers that I multiply to give me eight subtract to give me two or four and two so I'll have n minus four times n plus two times in the numerator I'm looking for two numbers that I multiply to give me twelve and add to give me seven that'll be four and three I'll have n plus four times n plus three and in the denominator this is a difference of two squares so I'm going to factor this into the following. It will be n plus 3 times n minus 3. All right? So there you have that, ladies and gentlemen. All right. And don't forget, we have a video on all of those factoring processes, on factoring a quadratic trinomial as well as factoring a difference of two squares. Cool. Check those out. All right. From here, I'm going to simplify before I multiply. And the first thing that stands out to me is that these n plus 2s have got to go. So n plus 2 goes into itself once, goes into itself once down here. I also have this n minus 3 that goes into itself once, and it'll go into itself once over here. And then I'm looking at the fact that the n plus 3s can be canceled out, and they're canceled out to 1, not 0. And what's left over is the following. I'll have n plus 4 over n minus 4. 
And this is the answer, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Please note that as long as these are not multiplying together, all right, notice that in the numerator, I have them separated by an addition sign, a plus sign, and the denominator, they're separated by a minus sign, that every element within this fraction would have to have something in common in order for you to reduce it. That means you cannot cancel out the ends and you cannot cancel out the fours. In fact, if you remember from the previous step, we were looking for exact factors in order to cancel. Since n plus 4 is not identical to n minus 4, you can't simplify it any further. That's the final result. Done and done. All right, that was problem number four. Let's move on. Okay, well, here's problem number five. Check it out. We have 2m squared minus 5m minus 12 over m squared minus 10m plus 24 divided by 4m squared minus 9 over m squared minus 9m plus 18. So what I'll be doing in this problem here is rewriting it first. I have 2m squared minus 5m minus 12 all over m squared minus 10m plus 24 times m squared minus 9m plus 18 all over 4m squared minus 9. All right, so I'll be factoring the numerator here and I'll be using what I showed you guys in that factoring quadratic trinomials part 2 video. I'll start out by multiplying 2 times 12 which is 24 and 2 factors of 24 that subtract to give me 5 or 8 and 3. So I'm going to open up two sets of parentheses here. I'll have an m, an m, an 8, a 3. The 8 will be negative because of the sign of the middle term. The 3 is positive and then I'll be dividing both of these by that number 2 there. All right. And I'll just leave it like that for now. I'm going to come back to that. And the denominator, two numbers that multiply to give me 24 and add to give me 10 are 6 and 4. So this is going to be m minus 6 times m minus 4. Okay. Then in the numerator, the second rational expression, two numbers that are multiplied to give me 18 and add to give me 9 will be 6 and 3. So this is going to be m minus 6 times m minus 3 all over... In the denominator, I have a difference of two squares, so in factoring that, I'll have 2m plus 3 times 2m minus 3, just like that. Okay, now what I'll do next, ladies and gentlemen, is I'll simplify the numerator here. This is going to be m minus 4. Any remaining denominators will go in front of the variable, so this is going to be 2m plus 3. All right, so that completely factors that numerator finally. In the denominator, it will remain as m minus 6 times m minus 4 times m minus 6 times m minus 3 over 2m plus 3 times 2m minus 3. From here, I can finally simplify before I multiply. So that's exactly what I'm about to do here. All right, so the m minus 4s will cancel out. All right, the m minus 6 cancels out, the 2m plus 3s will cancel out, and that's it. I'll be left, ladies and gentlemen, with m minus 3 over 2m minus 3. And remember, since all of these elements here in the rational expression do not have 3 in common or m in common, you can't continue to simplify. In other words, this is the answer, m minus 3 over 2m minus 3, done and done. That, ladies and gentlemen, was problem number five. All right, good problem. That was a good problem. This All is right. Mr. Witt with FBT Fort Bend Tutoring. Please visit our website, www.tutormemath.net, and please rate, comment, and subscribe. That's right, click that subscribe button. It really helps us out. All right, peace. Oh, Lord, there's so many kind of fractions. They got proper, improper, addings, subtracting, Multiply, dividing, mixed numbers, LCD. Ooh, that's like my TV. Simplifying, and my favorite of all, your least common denominator. <laughs> <laughs>